Hi! Okay, this is my Teen Wolf Season 3 The Overlooked reaction video. I'm really excited. I think we're on episode 10. Yeah, I think we're on 10. Either way, I really liked this episode. We had really good graphics. Example, Scott throwing the mistletoe towards Jennifer Blake slash Julia slash whatever we call her, the rock woman. That was very nice. Very mummy-esque. The slow motion throwing, her face all the rock-y and scratched up. Very nice. Good job, guys. I liked your budget. I loved all the hospital fight scenes. I loved Peter because I love Peter. And I really liked... Uh, sorry, I keep on looking at the TV because I have it airing right now. See that? See that? Yeah. Anyway, um, I really liked Peter and Melissa's scene of the, you're supposed to be dead. I get that a lot. I loved all of Peter's one-liners, such as the, how strong will that make them moment when he then walks out of the room with a needle in his chest. That made me happy. Um, because I love Peter. Because I said that a lot. But yeah, go Peter. Poor Derek. It just sucks to be you. It just always sucks to be Derek. I really hope you will eventually surely be happy and not with someone that was skilled. Or everyone else he loves. Because that seems to be a thing. <laughs> yeah, I love the damaged ones. Poor, poor Derek. Anyway, Isaac was adorable. He just is adorable in general because he's just so new at being a wolf and it's really cute. It's just really cute. I love that Chris and Allison and Isaac were this little threesome of badassery and that was fun. Styles, which is emotional and rip your heart out because he doesn't want to find his dad's dead body. Then Melissa is a badass with the electrical things that I can't remember the name of, but she shocked the twins and then the twins got all separated. That was great. Um, I'm really upset that they took, I mean, I know they're going to take her because we had that preview a couple weeks ago showing us her being, like, gone. But still, that's me up to, I just, she's going to, in season four of The Walking Dead, that show that I don't watch, she is cast as a full-time character, so that means she's going to die in Teen Wolf. I really, really, really don't want like that. Okay, yeah, they've kind of been foreshadowing this season, but that doesn't mean it, I, I wanted that to happen. I wanted it just to be a foreshadow they didn't follow through, like in The Vampire Diaries. They, for, they kept on foreshadowing Jeremy and, uh, yeah, Jeremy and Tyler's death for the longest time. Oh, look, Tyler's still alive, and oh, look, Jeremy's back to life. Yeah, so false foreshadowing. I wish they had a false foreshadowing for Melissa's death, but it looks like it's actually gonna happen, and I really don't want that, because we're finally getting Chris... Sorry, not Chris. We're finally getting Sheriff Zelensky and Melissa scenes. And they're, well, not that we haven't gotten them before, but now we're getting really cute, cute couple moments. Like, she called them handsome last week. And right. they're really fun. And, like, <laughs> um, and also I'm pretty damn sure that Scott will be a true alpha, true alpha in, by the f summer finale in, yeah, by the summer finale because then we get it back in January. So it'd be a good, like, holy shit, Scott's finally an alpha. Or they'll delay it and we'll get it at the end finale and after January. <sighs> Whatever. Um, yeah. Allison was a badass with her dad, so yay, Argent badassery, but then he's in trouble next week, so I guess I don't want this show to turn to the vampire Diaries when there's no parents. And the parents that are watching the ones you don't like. But I like all the parents in the show, so I really hope they keep them alive. Because Chris is an awesome dad, because we finally get single parents in the show, and you never really get that. And the show is filled with single parents. And not that you never really get single parents, but I like the single parents in the show. Melissa's a badass and doesn't really need a man, but we finally kind of get cute moments with her and her and um Sheriff Zelensky. And then we still had her and Peter in season one, and that was fun, and I like Peter, and I want Peter's happiness too. And I want Cora to be alive, damn it, and fuck Jennifer Julia woman, and making Derek feel even guiltier because he killed Paige, and let's just rip out some more wounds. Hey, you remember that girl you were madly in love with, and then you had to kill her because she wasn't surviving the change? Oh yeah, her virgin sacrifice kept me alive. Thanks! No! Whatever. That was fun. This was really cool. I feel bad for Scott. I feel bad for everyone. It's like the... It's emotional, like, supernatural, but in a different level of rip your heart out. So, yeah. Bravo for that one. I just go back to pain every week with this show. Alright, I'm gonna... No, wait, there's one other thing. Yeah. No, yeah, I'm gonna end it.